We're celebrating International Women's Day today and the progress that we're making to move the needle in our industry to improve gender diversity in senior and underrepresented roles. The UN's theme for the International Women's Day is gender equality today for a sustainable tomorrow. Quite fitting if you think about how sustainability and diversity, equity and inclusion are among the most important challenges we're facing for the future of our industry. I ought to launch the 25 by 2025 initiative in 2019 as a way to close the gap in gender diversity as we saw how far aviation had to go to improve representation, especially compared to other industries. In 2018, before the campaign launched, just 3% of airline CEOs and COOs and 8% of CFOs were women. This is incredibly low and highlights how much work we need to do as an industry. We know that we can't close this gap alone. So we've encouraged our members and partners to join our 25 by 2025 commitment. By working together as an industry, we're creating a forum for best practices and open conversation on how we can reach 25% representation of women in senior leadership and underrepresented roles. At IATA, we've committed to increasing the number of women in top senior positions to a minimum of 25%, and we're asking our partners who voluntarily join us to commit to the same. We're also asking that they commit to increasing their IATA governance role nominations to a minimum of 25% for women leaders. We've made incredible progress over the last three years, with over 80 companies voluntarily signing up to meet the 25% goal, including our first airline alliance. Why are we so passionate and dedicated to closing the gender gap in our industry? It's not only the right thing to do, but it makes good business sense and is important in fostering the future of our industry. Companies where women are strongly represented at top leadership levels are also the ones that perform the best. Research shows that companies that rank high in diversity are also more likely to attract top talent, improve customer and employee satisfaction, and lead to better decision making and ultimately higher financial returns. By better reflecting the gender diversity of the customers and communities we serve, we're also encouraging future generations of women to choose aviation as a career. It's up to all of us as an industry to create this culture of inclusion. This will help us attract top talent and set up our industry's talent pipeline for years, if not decades to come. We're excited about the progress we've made toward 25 by 2025 since 2019, and we are looking forward to showcasing the steps our signatories are taking to change the status quo and have an impact on the future of aviation. Together, as an industry, we're going to make a difference. And I can't wait till we reach our goal of 25% and hope we get there even sooner than 2025.